Hey there, and welcome to the July edition of Vizme's monthly feature recap. This month, we're excited to show the new updates designed to streamline and speed up your content production with Vizme. So without further ado, let's dive into these new features. If you often create designs from templates, you might have come across the need to change a template font in your brand font and the entire project. Going from text box to text box is extremely time consuming, so we introduced bulk test slide actions last year to speed up the editing. Last month, we took it up a notch and developed the ability to change fonts across the entire project with just one click. Additionally, we added the ability to change one specific font to another. This will come in handy when you want to change the title, subtitle, and paragraph fonts separately. If you're a premium account holder, you can use this feature through the font menu. Select the text box, go to the font dropdown, and hover over the font that you want to apply to the project. On the hover, you'll see an arrow. Clicking on it will open the new menu, allowing you to apply the font across the entire project or switch the font from the selected text box to another one across the entire project. Give this new feature a try and see just how much faster and more consistent your whole entire design process can be. Our animation timeline just got a new major overhaul. First, you might have noticed that a thin animation timeline is now open by default at the bottom of the canvas in those content types. Well, when you click on the arrow and expand the timeline, you'll see a view of all your project slides. Each thumbnail features a slide, its name, its duration, and a transition icon. At the top of the timeline, we added a field that shows the duration of your entire animated project. Pulling on a slide thumbnail will expand its duration and shrinking it will decrease it. These changes will be immediately reflected in the project length field and the slide length. You can also easily drag slides around, changing the order of your animation. Double clicking on the slide will open a familiar advanced view of the slide's animation where you can adjust the length and the type of animation for all the slide's design objects. We've implemented these changes not only to help you animate your design faster, but to remind you of Visme's interactive capabilities. We're continuously seeing stats and research that show the interactive content outperforms static, and we hope you'll take complete advantage of this. We get it, choosing a template is extremely hard, especially when there are thousands and thousands of options in the template library. If you ever find yourself changing your mind about the template you've chosen, you can now access more template choices through the new additionally added templates menu of the editor. Navigate to the top left panel and browse through the templates. If the template has more than one page, you can preview it and choose the pages you want to use. Once the pages are selected, you can either replace your existing template pages with the new ones or simply add selected pages to your project in addition to the ones that are already there. We really hope you enjoy having access to more templates from within the editor and take advantage of easily mixing and matching templates to create unique designs. For years, Visme users have been enjoying the PPTX import feature, and now we've added the ability to upload one more file type. PDFs. Just upload your vertical or horizontal PDFs, which will automatically turn into Visme projects. Each PDF page will become an image that you can edit using Visme's image editing tools. While you can't edit the text directly, you can easily add new text boxes while covering up the old ones. And of course, you can switch out the original graphics with new ones from Visme's library. In the next releases, we will make the PDFs editable within Visme, but more on that in future videos. And that's it for the July edition of our monthly feature recap newsletter. Trying to saying that three times fast. Don't forget to sign up to our channel so you don't miss any future updates of any features. And until next time, keep designing. I'm Yvonne. See ya.